with Kawhi likely taking at least a day or two to make his decision, who do you think is most impacted by waiting? Mm. Toronto. Because if they can't sign Kawhi, Rach, that's it. <laughs> that, that's it. They are the team. Because if, if you can't bring him back and the superstar qualities that he provided for them over and over and over again throughout the season, you're just stuck. You're stuck with what you have in the moment. And if you're Masai, you've got to decide, do I want to run back this solid team and try to figure something out and, and go to the playoffs again? Or do I want to hit the button and just totally change it up? So in my mind, it's the Raptors. I think it's the Lakers and the Clippers because these are two teams in L.A. that have had a reasonable expectation that he wants to meet with them and play with them. And so they have to wait. Right. Like if you're getting a meeting with him and you get a chance to pitch him, you have to wait on his decision. And by waiting, now you might miss out on the second tier guys. The if the Lake for the for the Lakers, my understanding is they're they'll spend that 32 million on a max player if it is Kawhi Leonard or Kyrie Irving. If it's not one of those two players, things get a little bit more complicated. They'd rather split that up. Now, uh, there's some discussion about Jimmy Butler, but it's really Kawhi or Kyrie Irving. If, if you're waiting on Kawhi and you're waiting on Kyrie and you don't get either of them, you might miss on Darren Collison or Danny Green or DeAndre Jordan or any of the other Malcolm Brogdon. Those pieces, pieces. Those pieces that you would be looking in the second tier because the market for the second tier players, the guys who are going to be in the – Eight to anywhere up to twenty million dollars a year range. That could be going. That, that could happen fast. Boy, I'd like that to be my second tier. Yeah, eight to twenty million dollars. <laughs> anyway, uh, Nikki, Toronto got its championship. It's it's fat and happy now. Okay, <laughs> Kawhi can leave. They'll be okay with it. It's the Lakers. And for what everything Ramona said, look. They have opened up their max. Rob Palenka has done his job. And now you got to wait and see what Kawhi is going to do. But what if Kyrie wants to come? The Lakers have looked into this. They have been trying to gather as much information on what Kyrie Irving's going to do. And you don't know what he's going to do. He's so unpredictable. And so you don't know if Kyrie Irving's even going to want to wait those couple of days for Kawhi. And then besides those two, now Ramona's right. The Lakers have all these scenarios up of what they can do with their money. Do they go after D'Angelo Russell, give him 20 or more million dollars and then try to combine him they have these tiers of guys these pairs do they combine him with deandre jordan because they want another big to go with anthony mm -hmm. davis mm -hmm. or if they don't do that then they go and maybe they let, let's check the temperature now horford but if we get out Horford, then we might be able to get a point guard on the cheaper end like darren collison but those guys they're not going to wait that long especially if they get their money tied up in d'angelo russell whatever but it all starts with Kawhi. And the Lakers have to know pretty soon what Kawhi is going to do. Okay, so, I mean, look, this is a problem that the Lakers, I'm sure, would be thrilled to have. And that certainly <laughs> Lakers fans who have been in a desert for six years would be thrilled to have. But Om brings up an interesting point. If Kyrie says, okay, I'll come on day one, and Kawhi's still thinking about it, what do you do? Oh, gosh. How about this? <laughs> I, I was talking to one Laker person who said, what if Kyrie wants to meet at the same time with the Lakers as Kawhi? Now, this is not – a teams have been through this before, right? But – how did the Lakers split this up? Who meets with who? They don't have Magic Johnson anymore to be in that room with Kawhi Leonard on if it happens to be on the 30th or whatever. <laughs> it's going to be Rob Palenka and whoever else, Frank Vogel. Who do they send to talk to Kyrie? And is who Ky feels who does LeBron by want? Yeah, that would be my okay, question. So well, LeBron Kyrie, wants Kawhi. Let me. So let me... I send LeBron James to Kawhi's house or wherever he's at, and I say, Hey, Kawhi, you want to win another title? Come with me. I'll take care of LeBron. it. Or how about this, us. Ramona? If I'm Rob. Could I bring Kobe into the room? Kobe's not really a meeting guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was you know, question. I remember him when he came to the LeBron, Dwight Howard meeting. Right. That so wasn't good. That didn't go so well. <laughs> LeBron has never sat in on free agency pitch meetings. Do you expect, guys, for him to do that I this time? I think LeBron has done a lot of his recruiting already. already. Yeah. Right. And they, I, I've asked that question of whether mm -hmm. LeBron will, will be there. I don't, I don't know the answer yet, and I don't know if anyone would even say the answer until those meetings are set. But LeBron's done his job. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he obviously has done that. The if reason they they're in the conversation the, is because of LeBron right. James. If they are met with the bird in the hand to whatever flying away, I don't even know what the analogy is. <laughs> There's so many birds here, I don't know how many analogies like we have to Jenga do. It's like a puzzle. Right, yeah. right. But if I'm very curious in, in Ohm's scenario, if Kyrie says, mm. I'd come before Kawhi gives you an answer, Ooh. what do you do? Ooh. Again, good problem to have. I'm mm. just asking. You say yes. Okay. But you don't wait. You, you don't, don't wait, wait to see what Kawhi's going to do. If you know that mm -hmm. Kyrie, as that third star, is a guy who fits well with LeBron and would fit well with AD, if he said that to you, you take it and you run. Agree? I don't know. <laughs> I, 
don't know. That's my opinion. I, that, 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 I don't. I haven't asked that specific question yeah, to anybody. Yeah, no, I was just curious. But, but uh, look, Kawhi Leonard is Kawhi Leonard. I, 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 I think Kawhi Leonard is the Finals it's MVP. Hard. Do we need to remind everybody what he just did a couple weeks ago? Uh, I, like, I am. It's why it is a hard question, and that is sort of the overall point, right? This correct. is very, very hard, and we've talked about this free agent class for so long. Mm -hmm. How many big guys are in the mix? Last year it was like, hey, where's LeBron going to go? Where's Paul George going to go? Right? And they both made their decisions within 24 hours, and so everyone else was able to file in and plan accordingly. This is going to be a lot more messy, mm. or at least it's set up to be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.